Let's go. to Mount Botswana, a country I have never been before. And we're about to embark on an adventure. We're going camping with Chobi 4x4. Not only that, it's a guided self-drive experience. We have a very special local guide with us who's gonna take us all the way to the Central Kalahari Game Reserve. We've got lots to do. Put on my new uniform. We're gonna stock the car up with all sorts of delicious snacks. And then we're gonna to start to make our way towards the Game Reserve. It's safe to say the fridge is full. Look at the size of this thing. So neatly packed. And we've got more food down here to go in the other compartment. So we're lucky to have the help of Mr. White here. <laughs> and this is a perk you have of yeah. being on a guided self-drive tour with Chobi 4x4. So Mr. White, thanks for joining us. It's great to have you. You're welcome. I'm very happy to go with you guys. Awesome. Lauren, what did you get yourself? I'm going to try and stay healthy on this trip. We've got some bran flakes. We've got lots of fruit, yogurt, cheese. I don't think we'll be going hungry. We will definitely not. We've just like now and we're on our way to the first stop, which is called Teti River Camp. And already along the way, we've seen so much. River camp and White is going to show us exactly how to set up our bedroom for the night. This is our first row tent and the second one in front. So this one is the easiest one to make up. So I unhook here and I lift up from here. Wow. Leave it to stretch out and this thing comes. Blankets are here, everything is here. Okay, I'm going to go inside. This is so cool. Double bed. Yeah. Amazing. It's like we're in the middle of nowhere and I'm going to skip off to the bush bathroom. It's really important when you're on a trip like this to think about your waste. We have a big black bag in the car where we put everything into and we'll dispose of it correctly but nothing is going into the natural environment. And when you are using the bush bathroom, think about what you're going to do with that kind of waste. It needs to be disposed of correctly. Well, this is a fuel station. We 
are in Raycops. It's just a small little village outside the sort of main entranceway to the Central Kalahari Game Reserve. I believe we're about 45 k's out, so not too far, but fuel and water were essential. The two tanks, and then we have four jerry cans, just in case anything goes wrong, and we've got a lot of water. This is the very beginning of our Kalahari Desert Safari. We've already been lucky so far. We've seen ostrich and I added a new bird to my list, the northern black forehand. Now, we're about 15 k's out from our campsite tonight, which is Deception Valley. But before we even get there, it's time to slow the pace right down, explore the area and see what other wildlife we can find. We've just had a lunch stop and my goodness, it is hot. But I want to show you all around the car. Now you may wonder what on earth this is. This is a very special mount for the camera. Our very own wildlife filmmaker is going to sit in this seat, the back seat. We've got our camera equipment stashed nicely off to the side. This opens up. It also locks for when you're on the road. Nice and easily. This is a food that doesn't need to go into the fridge. And we have got two gas stoves here. The car also has a 40 litre reserve of water for showers, if we shower, and to wash the dishes. Plates, cups, kettle, Tupperwares, chopping boards, medical kit. The car comes with a huge kit of cutlery, which rolls up really nicely. We have four jerry cans, two are kept here, and two are kept on the inside. We are trying to use big bottles of water to reduce plastic. Collect all your waste and dispose of it correctly. Cool box, slides out, open it. Ah, this is our fridge and freezer. Yummy. <laughs> It's important that you shut it properly. Now around this corner, same hatch system. Your pans, your grater, your cup, and your personal items. Make sure you know where everything is and it will go smoothly. And that is our adventure van for the next seven days. Is it a honey badger? It is. <laughs> Now we have entered the Deception Valley. A honey badger, can you believe it? On our first day, that was amazing. We've arrived at Deception Valley campsite and I would love to give you a tour around, but this is it. We're camping in the middle of the booth. It's time to set up our tents and get ready for dinner. Then bed. 